did you come up with this idea for a crude oil symposium? Crude moves. Um, a group of us from the Great Lake Sea Grant Network have been meeting for a couple years trying to figure out how to best use our strengths as organizations dedicated to science, research, and extension of technical information to our coastal communities. We determined that given the increase of oil movement um, through the basin in the 2014 uh, time frame, that it was important for us to be looking at how the oil moves, whether it's by train, pipeline, truck, ship, what have you. We really needed to understand the pros and cons of the different modes and how the modes of transportation interacted um, among each other. And so we started working together, um, created a webinar series, and then we were um, approached by our colleagues in the Gulf asking if they wanted, um, if we wanted their help. And so we started working with them in order to bring some of the Gulf oil spill science and experience to the Great Lakes region in order to build upon our experience with spills, our experience with working with these different in industries and modes of transportation, and bu just build upon that. And so together with the Great Lakes Commission and then with the International Joint Commission, um, we were able to work together to put together what I think was a fantastic lineup of a diversity of speakers from Canada, United States, looking at a variety of issues related to crude oil transportation. It's definitely a wicked problem. It's not easy. You can't just talk about pipelines and you just can't talk about rail. You need to talk about all the different components and how they fit together and how, you know, whatever your so many things that we do use crude oil, whether it's our home heating uh, oil, whether it's gasoline and even products in our home. They're all made with uh, refined products from crude oil. So it's important for everyone to understand where the genesis of these products come from, and that's from the ground. When was, when was the first one and where was the first one held? Um, this is our first symposium of this scale. We had a couple of smaller um, meetings in 2015 in Wisconsin and Chicago, just trying to build up the information, but this was the first like truly educational conference um, symposium and discussion among all the different stakeholders of this type. I have learned so much and I just want, if there was one thing that, or two things that you could sort of bring out that you found out or that you felt was definitely a concern, I mean, a lot of people were talking about Line 5, but they were talking about so many things and if there's just a couple things you might point up that stand out that that stood out for this conference? Well, I work a lot with communities, so the idea of helping communities learn how to be resilient um, really hit home with me. Uh, Larissa Graham from the Oil Spill Scientists brought up that fact as something that we might want to think about. I also thought it was important that our organizations start really interacting with the different area um, response teams and um, planning processes. And so we just need to get as much information filtered in a way that's easy for all of our stakeholders to understand, whether it's someone who's playing on the beach, on the dunes, um, on Lake Ontario, whether it's a small community that has a port nearby or maybe a, a transfer station. Um, there's just a lot, a lot to know and figuring out who needs to know what when is something that we need to continue working on.